Goodbye to the 1700s and hello to the 1800s. This symphony is influenced by Haydn, one of the masters of the classical style. It's comedic in style, meaning light-hearted and entertaining, rather than rolling on the floor laughing. On the one hand, it's quite conservative, sticking to the style of Haydn, but on the other hand, there are hints of the musical revolution to come, with his more thumping use of the orchestra, surprising harmonies, and very generous writing for the wind instruments, influenced by the wind masterpieces of Mozart. Nevertheless, for Beethoven, this is relatively cautious, as it's his first time writing a full-scale orchestral symphony Symphony. Instead of going huge and revolutionary, he's opted for a small comic sonata for orchestra. Movement 1 is in sonata form with an introduction. The intro is harmonically surprising as it gropes around trying to find the right key. After this grand note, the mood continues in a relaxed but stately manner as Beethoven comfortably establishes the right key, C major. The Allegro con brio begins with this quietly energetic theme. And so you see it's a light-hearted comic work, not a grand dramatic work. The transition gives us this theme. And this one. Instead of properly establishing the dominant, Beethoven plonks us onto it, and then continues as if it always been there, a kind of Mozartian joke. This is the second subject's theme. After this is well explored, the theme descends into darker regions, with a stunning oboe line that reminds us of Mozart. The development begins like this. And is very terse and dramatically effective. The recap comes about from quite a sudden dominant. And being Beethoven, the coda is more massive and brilliant than the classical style would normally allow. Movement 2 is a slow movement in sonata form. This cute, shy theme... is treated like a fugue. The second subject follows with no transition. Then we have two more themes to round off the exposition. This... and this. Then there's a development, recap and coda on these themes. Movement 3 is a minuet and trio, but really it's a prototype Beethoven scherzo in disguise. It's just been labelled a minuet for convention's sake. It's too massive and too much fun to be just a minuet. On the whole, this movement speaks for itself. We have our first theme, and later a cool passage of modulations leading back to the theme, and a trio in the middle, which takes a more relaxed, classical mood, with throbbing wind chords... But, being Beethoven, he can't resist rousing it all to fortissimo. Movement 4 is the finale in sonata form. It begins with a Haydn-esque joke, the violins tentatively letting out a scale. until the theme comes.
The transition properly transitions to the dominant this time, and the second subject starts with this theme. Then a syncopated cadence theme. And the exposition ends with a continuation of this scalic idea. The rest of this piece goes on in typical sonata form, with some great dramatic surprises. But it's worth noting that this scalic figure is present everywhere, right until the grand old ending. If you like this video, then please do subscribe, because there will be more like it in future. Thanks for watching.